20 women can do a work in 16 days. 16 men can complete the same work in 15 days. What is the ratio between the capacity of a man and a woman? What is asked in the question is the ratio of capacity of a man and a woman. So that will be equal to the ratio of work done by one man in one day is to work done by one woman in one day. And that will give us the ratio of the capacity of a man and a woman. So this will be equal to how much work is done by one man in one day. Well, there are 16 men who complete the work in 15 days. So work done by one man in one day will be equals to 1 by 16 times 1 by 15. That is 1 by the total number of men times 1 by the total number of days. So 1 by 16 times 1 by 15 divided by same is the case with women. We have 20 women who work for 16 days. So work done by one woman in one day will be equal to 1 by 20 times 1 by 16. So this 1 by 16 and this 1 by 16 gets cancelled out. So what remains is this 20 goes up, 15 comes down. So 20 by 15 and that is 5 4s are 20, 5 3s are 15. So 4 is to 3 is the ratio of the capacity of a man and a woman. So option B is the correct answer here. 3 men, 4 women and 6 children can complete a work in 7 days. A woman does double the work a man does and a child does half the work a man does. How many women alone can complete the work in 7 days? We will find out the work done by one woman in one day, one man in one day and one child in one day. So let us assume that the work done by one woman in one day is X. And it is given that a woman does double the work a man does. So the work done by one man in one day will be half of the work done by the woman. So X by 2. And a child does half the work a man does. This means that one child in one day will do half of the man's work. So x by 2 divided by 2 that will give you x by 4. Now we have been given that 3 men, 4 women and 6 children can complete the work in 7 days. So in one day all of these people will complete 1 by 7 of the work. So 1 by 7 is equal to the work done by 3 men. So we have 3 times the work done by 1 man in one day. So 3 times x by 2 plus the work done by four women. So four times work done by one woman in one day. So x plus six times the work done by one child in one day. So x by four. Now this one by seven is the work done in one day, right? So let us evaluate this and find out x and that will give you the work done by one woman in one day. When you'll solve this, you'll get x as one by 49. Now this is the work done in one day. So the total work will be done in 49 days. The reciprocal of the work done. So 49 days is the time taken by one woman to do the complete work. So one woman takes 49 days to complete the work. So how many women will take to complete the work in 7 days? And that's what is asked. Now. Women and days, this is basically an indirect proportion because more the women, less the number of days taken to complete the work. So I have x is equals to 49 by 7 because it is an inverse proportion. So which is equals to 7. So 7 is the number of women taken to complete the work in 7 days. So option A is the correct answer for us. 10 women can complete a work in 7 days and 10 children take 14 days to complete the work. How many days will 5 women and 10 children take to complete the work? Well, let us first find out the work done by one woman in one day. It will be equals to we have 10 women who complete the work in 10 days. So I can write it as 1 by 10 times 1 by 7 and that's 1 by 70. It is a work done by one woman in one day. Now let us find out the work done by one child in one day. There are 10 number of children. So 1 by 10 times the 
they do the work in 14 days so 1 by 14 so this is 1 by 140 is the work done by one child in one day now let us calculate the work done in one day by five women and ten children we have the work done by one woman in one day so let us write it work done by five women and ten children in one day that will be equals to five times the work done by one woman in one day so five times one by seventy plus we have 10 children so 10 times the work done by one child in one day so 10 times 1 by 140 so I can cancel out the terms here so I have 1 by 14 plus 1 by 14 and that's 2 by 14 and that will be 1 by 7 so this is the work done in one day so the total work that is 1 will be done in just the reciprocal of the work that is seven days so the answer is option C four men and six women can complete a work in eight days while three men and seven women can complete it in ten days in how many days will ten women complete it well let us first assume that the work done by one man in one day is equals to x and the work done by one woman in one day is equals to y so what we are going to do is we will find the work done by one woman in one day from the data that's given to us and then we can find out in how many days will 10 women complete the work so we have four men and six women who complete the work in eight days so the work done by four men and six women in one day will be equal to 1 by 8 and that will be equal so we have four men so four times the work done by one man in one day that's x plus we have six women so six times the work done by one woman in one day so six y that's equation one that we've got now another data is given to us we have three men and seven women who complete the work in ten days so the work completed in one day is basically one by ten and that will be equals to we have three men so three times the work done by one man in one day that's x plus seven women so seven times the work done by one woman in one day that's y so seven y this is equation number two so you have two equations you can solve them simultaneously and I'm not going to solve it to save time and when you will solve it you'll get the value of x as 11 by 400 and y as 1 by 400 so this is the amount of work done by one woman in one day now let us calculate the amount of work done by 10 women in one day and that will be equal to 10 times the work done by one woman in one day that's 1 by 400 so 10 women complete 1 by 40 of the work in one day so you have 140 of the work done in one day so how many number of days will it take to complete the work and completed work is denoted by one right so this is a direct proportion the more the work is done the more time it is going to take so we can directly equate this these two ratios so when you solve it you'll get n is equal to 40 so 40 days is the time in which 10 women will complete the work option B is the correct answer